Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about the latest update for Hydra AI Character 3. In order to do so, here we are at Hydra.com, and I recommend taking a look here at the main page. You'll find some helpful videos to explain exactly what Hydra 3 is all about. But if you're unfamiliar with Hydra, it is a fantastic lip sync platform. If you're looking for a good lip sync option, take a look at Hydra. It was already really good before, and now they have improved it. So you could see here some of the really nice examples that have been made with Hydra. There's some really top-notch quality lip sync here so what you could do is if you click on try now let's try that here there you go so this is going to bring us to our main page here with hedra and up at the top you could see that we have video image and library so image actually will allow you to generate images so this is really nice that they've added this you can use this to generate your own images and then you can bring them into hedra for the lip sync so if we come over here to video there we go uh you're going to see a few options here to take a look at so first off we have our model and you can see here that we have the Her Hedra Character 3 model, and they are nice enough to offer some free credits. You get 200, min uh, 200 credits per month. Um, to start off, they do give you 400 credits. If you want to come and play around, then you'll get 400 to start off, but then after that, monthly, you'll get 200 credits. So uh, it's it's enough to do a little bit, but um, it's going to make it's going to uh, equate to like about a minute or so of content. So um, just enough to give you an idea of how it works. And you could see here that we also have VO2, Kling 1.6 and Minimax. So you could take advantage of those. Um, we also have our aspect ratio here. We could change that. We have our resolution. We could set that to 720 or 540. Before the resolution, I believe, was only at 540. So the fact that they've upped that to 720 is really quite nice. And we also have the duration, which is set to auto. So what you're going to want to do is uh, first off we have this option here that says inspire me and you could just click on that and you can see that uh, there's different controls here different instructions that you can provide for the video you don't need to do that though it uh, it's up to you if you want to but um, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first off add an audio script so if we click on this here then this is going to offer us the option to either generate speech record audio or upload audio. So if you have your own audio that you want to upload, you can do that. If you click on record audio, then you can actually record your own voice here, which is quite nice. But you also have the generate speech option. And here you can actually type in what you want the character to say. You can choose the voice. They have a variety of voices here that you can choose from. I believe that this is all from 11 labs, if I'm not mistaken. But there's a lot of really good uh, options here. And you can click view all voices to see all of the different voices they have. And we also have different languages that we can uh, choose. Probably just want to set that to auto, but you do have the option to set it to a specific language if you want and then you can even use the create voice option so you can clone your voice so you can uh, record and read out the following statement authorizing us to use your voice so you can press record and you can clone your own voice so that's kind of cool if you want to have your voice there and uh, you want to use the generate speech option then you can do that personally if you're going to use your own voice the clone voice is definitely a cool option but it's um Maybe a better idea to just uh, record your voice if you are uh, wanting to use your own voice, but you do what uh, you want to do. And then here we have image frame. If we click on that, then you can see here we have the option to either create an image, capture an image, or we can upload an image. So if you have an image that you already have ready to go, then you can do that if you want to capture an image. So if you want to get your own face, then you can do that, or you can use the create option. And here, this is going to essentially bring you to the image option here so I've already generated something so let's go ahead and go into the library you could see here for yourself I've done a couple of generations so let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look here and see what the results are like
So there you go. That gives you an idea of what Hedra is capable of. In this case, I added some music. And so our character is singing along to the song and um, looks really nice, really nice and clear. Uh, the only thing is um, I might say the... In this case, it seems overly expressive. So that's where you might want to play around with the prompt. So let's see here if we can close out of that. So if we go back to video here, here it says prompt your character with emotions and gestures. So what I did was I specifically said uh, the character is singing and the result is really quite nice. But I think just for my own purposes, uh, it seems just a bit too expressive perhaps, but that could just be a little nitpick. At the end of the day, the results are really quite nice and um, we'll Let's see here. We'll just kind of take a look at that one more time. I stepped through time, a silver door, a world I knew but never before. Through burning fields and silent stone, I found the one who stood alone. His eyes were fire. So yeah, actually, this is the second one that I did. And I do think that the second one I quite like. Uh, I think I like it a little bit more than the first one, but um, yeah, really nice. You could see for yourself there what the lip sync is capable of some really cool stuff and compared to what was there before, before it was still really good. But now what you have is it's um, much clearer. You get a better resolution and also the framing is a little bit better as well before uh you really had to get the framing as close as possible and then another thing here let me point this out His hands were dust, a soul torn. you could see for yourself that um she is looking to the side and you can get the lip sync that's that wasn't possible before before the character had to be looking straight into the camera and so you know the 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 limitations there now you know it's still very expressive and one of the better lip sync options that are out there but the fact that the character is actually looking to the side now and kind of looking around that is what um is part of the new update so um you could see i stepped through So there you go. That just gives you an idea there. They uh, don't have to be looking dead into the camera. And so you get much more um, natural expression and just some really nice uh, results there. And uh, so that's all there is to it. That is um, Hadra AI Character 3, the new update. It's really great. Go play around with those free credits that they provide you. Um, this is one platform that I would certainly go for the subscription because the uh, results speak for themselves. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you take a look in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. And there you'll find a link to our new X account. We're just starting out there. So if you can go to X and follow us there, we'd really appreciate it. Also, we have information on our upcoming intro to AI webinars and a discount code Skillcrafts60 for Sintra AI will give you 60% off Sintra. Sintra is a fantastic business strategy platform. Highly recommend it's one of the best AI tools we've come across so we're very happy to be partnered with Sintra and you also can see here that we have links for Cider AI and Enzobot click on those links to get started and you'd be helping us out we'd greatly appreciate it